Hello learners, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. Today, we will study chapter number 11 of class 12th business studies. The name of the chapter is marketing. Before starting the chapter, let's understand some basic terms related to the chapters. So, the first term is needs. What is need? Needs refers to the basic human requirements, essential items, necessary or fundamental to the human existence. For example, food, cloth, shelter, that is the need of human beings. Second term we have is wants. Want means desire for a particular product, it tends to be the satisfier specific. For example, food is need for us, but if we want to have a specific item in the food, that is called want. Next term we have is demand. Demand simply means willingness to buy, backed by purchasing power. Then utility. Utility simply means the want satisfying power of a product. So now let us understand the term market. What is market? We broadly divide market into two senses, one is traditional and another one is modern sense. In traditional sense, market refers to a place where buyers and sellers gather to enter into transactions involving exchange of goods and services. The other ways in which this term is being used in context of product market, geographic market, wholesale market, retail market, etc. In modern marketing sense, the term market has a broader meaning. It refers to the set of actual and potential buyers of the product and service. When we talk about actual and potential buyers, these are the buyers who actually want to buy the product and they have capacity and capability to buy the particular product. Further, traditionally marketing has been referred to a performance of business activities that direct the flow of goods and services from producer to consumers. We know that to move the goods and services from the producer to consumers, number of activities such as product designing, merchandising, selling, advertising, packaging, labeling, pricing, promotion, etc. are required. And all these activities are referred to as marketing activities. If we talk about modern times, marketing is a social process whereby people exchange goods and services for money or for something of value to them. Taking the social perspective, Philip Kotler, who is also known as father of marketing, has defined marketing as a social process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating offerings and freely exchanging the products and services of value with others. The meaning of needs and wants we have discussed in the very beginning of the chapter. So, in nutshell, meeting needs profitably and identifying a need and fulfilling it are the best definition of marketing and marketer. Hence, marketing involves identification of market, developing goods and services to satisfy consumer needs, then satisfying it better than the competitors and we all perform marketing activities for the earning of profits. Next topic which we are going to discuss is features of marketing. The first feature of marketing is social process. In marketing, we know people interact with others in order to persuade them to act in a particular manner. Here, if you talk about persuade them to act in a particular manner means that convincing the buyers to buy the product. Second feature we have is needs and wants. The process of marketing helps in satisfaction of the needs and wants of individuals as well as organizations. 
Next feature is customer value. The process of marketing facilitates exchange of product for money or something considered valuable. A product will be purchased only if it gives greatest benefit or value for the money. Therefore, the job of marketer is to add to the value of product so that customer prefers it. So, the last feature of marketing is exchange mechanism. The process of marketing involves exchange of products, services for money for something of value to them. Exchange refers to the process through which two or more parties come together to obtain the desired product and service from someone, offering the same by giving something in return. There are certain conditions of exchange mechanism that must be fulfilled such as capacity of parties, communication between parties, free consent of parties. So, next question arise, what can be marketed? A product, so what is product? Product is a bundle of utility not confined to the physical products, but can refer to other things of value such as services, ideas, places, persons, etcetera. So, product refers to anything that satisfy a need or want. It can be tangible or intangible. Then next terminology we have is marketer. Who is a marketer? A marketer can be anyone, anyone who takes more active role in the process of exchange is called marketer. Normally, it is the seller, but in certain situation, it may also be the buyer. This may be in situation of rare supply. Seller as a marketer are the deliverers or providers of satisfaction. They make available products or services and offers them to the customers with an intention of satisfying customer needs and wants. They can be divided into goods marketer such as Hindustan Lever, service marketers such as Indian Airlines, other marketing experiences such as Walt Disney or places like tourist destinations. Next we are going to start is marketing management. So, let us understand the meaning and the concept of marketing management. Marketing management means management of marketing functions. It is the process of organizing, directing and controlling the activities related to marketing of goods and services to satisfy consumer needs and achieve organizational marketing goals. So, the process of marketing management involves choosing a target market, focusing on getting, keeping as well as growing the customer that is to ensure that the target customers purchase the firm's product, ensure that they keep their customers satisfied with the products and attract new customer so that firm can grow. Then customer value, the mechanism of achieving the objective is through create, develop and communicate superior values to the customers. Next important topic of marketing management is philosophies of marketing management. Generally, we have five philosophies and one by one we will discuss each philosophy in detailed manner. And the first and foremost philosophy is production concept. In the earlier days of industrial revolution, the number of producers were limited, limited supply of industrial products not able to match demand. So, anyone who was able to produce goods could easily find buyers for the same. So, the focus was on the quantity. Another concept, product concept, with the passage of time, the supply improved, customers started looking for products that were superior in performance, quality and feature. So, the focus shifted from quantity to quality. Next concept was selling concept. 
with the increase in the scale of production, competition amongst the sellers, product quality and availability alone did not ensure the survival of large number of firms. Now, they were focusing more on selling of the product with similar quality. Marketing concept, it implies that firm can achieve its goal by identifying needs of the customers and satisfying them better than competitors. Customer satisfaction is the precondition for realizing the firm's goal and objectives. Next concept we have is social marketing concept. Under this concept, customer satisfaction is supplemented by social welfare. Some products bring harmful effect on environment, so these should not be supplied. It pays attention to the social, ethical and ecological aspects of marketing. So, the next topic which we are going to discuss is difference between marketing and selling. Generally, these two terms are used interchangeably, whereas they are different from each other. Marketing refers to a large set of activities of which selling is just one part. It is concerned with the promoting and transferring possession and ownership of goods, whereas marketing is much wider consisting number of activities such as identification of customer needs and persuading or convincing them to buy the same. Selling focuses on transferring the title and possession of goods where marketing put thrust on achieving maximum customer satisfaction. Selling aims at maximizing sales and profit of firm wherein marketing is concerned with customer satisfaction by increasing profits in the long run. Selling starts after product has been developed, whereas marketing starts much before the product is produced. For example, we do market research before producing the product. Selling involves efforts like promotion and persuasion, whereas marketing involves strategies in respect of product, promotion, pricing and physical distribution of the product. So, in today's class, we learnt about basic concepts of marketing such as meaning of market, types of market, what is marketer, what is product, what is marketing what is marketing management, what is the difference between marketing and selling and various philosophies related to marketing. Let me give you some questions for practice. Question number 1, define marketing. Question number 2, exchange is considered the essence of marketing. Elaborate the statement. Question number 3, state any three differences between marketing and selling. Question number four, differentiate between marketing management philosophies. So, I hope you have enjoyed today's class and I think you have learned by heart the topics which we have discussed and you will practice the questions which I have given to you. So, we will meet in the next class. Till then, goodbye and happy learning.